my name is rohit and uh, today i will give you a demonstration of a multimeter of sigma make uh, it's a true rms multimeter uh, the model number is uh, 33a let's see what's in the box it's the uh, instrument there's a temperature probe this connecting lead sets uh, there is one attachment also given over here uh, and the instruction manual of it so uh, let's start with the demonstration of this instrument I will be giving a detailed uh, demonstration of this product the instrument let's see the specification of this instrument uh, the manual is provided with it it's a 4000 counts true RMS multimeter Yes, it's a true RMS multimeter which is more accurate as compared to other mean value uh, multimeters available in the market. It will give you an accurate reading if you are working in AC voltages or AC current or you are uh, using a, uh, it in um, harmonics uh, or distortion parts then this type of multimeter, the true RMS multimeter give you a much uh, good and precise reading. Uh, so let's see the specification of it. It's a 4000 counts multimeter true RMS. Uh, its DC voltage is up to uh, 1000 volts DC and AC voltage is uh, around 750 volt AC. Uh, current uh, is 10 ampere DC and the 10 ampere AC and the resistance is up to 40 mega ohm and it is also having capacitance in it and the capacitance range is around 100 millifarad which is uh, uh, pretty good and the frequency range is 30 megahertz it also have a diode check-in and continuity and the temperature is also provided the temperature uh, probe i have already shown to you and the temperature range is around 1000 degrees celsius which is uh, pretty much good so i will give you a step by step uh, demonstration of uh, each and every part of it uh, let's see first uh, uh, the lead set which uh, they have provided it's pretty good pretty decent as compared to the other cheap uh, multimeters available in the market uh, so let's uh, open it and uh, start with the uh, demonstration of it so here it is uh, here the first range is millivolt and uh, then it's AC voltage and DC voltage I want to confirm firstly that in millivolt you can see a yellow color a red color line is there uh, for, for, uh, for this uh, it's a dual range part uh, see it is now showing auto DC means it's an auto range multimeter but the range is in millivolt if you want to uh, check AC millivolt you have to press this switch the select switch and now it moves on to AC and millivolt and it's true RMS is also showing uh, so let's go ahead and uh, uh, the testing of uh, uh, voltages and uh, resistances firstly I want to confirm that uh, there are four switches on it uh, one is a select which I had already told you that you, are, you can select it for uh, AC or DC in the current section part you can see uh, that uh, they haven't provided an AC or DC separately so you have to press this switch and you have to select AC or DC but by default it will be coming DC you have to press that switch to, con uh, to shift it to AC part uh, so I'm uh, now I'll be going for testing of this uh, AC the pointer is provided uh, which always confirm you which uh, uh, range you are so we'll be testing the uh, AC voltage and onto it it's already written AC and true RMS uh, and firstly you should be knowing that uh, the probes which they have provided uh, there's one black probe and the, there is one red probe you have to always put black probe onto the com part and the red probe onto the other part if you're using voltages you'll be putting the red probe over here if uh, you are using a uh, current let's say milliampere then red probe you have to shift it from here or if you are uh, going for 10 ampere current then you have to uh, shift that red probe into this port so let's see and check the uh, AC voltages uh, what sort of a result they are coming so it is coming 243.8 means uh, the result is good and 240 volts is coming um, 
and you can see uh, some of my friends who are working in the fields uh, pretty much are having some of the habits that they want to measure the frequency also uh, so this is the button uh, by which you can uh, at the ac ac voltages only you can press this and you can see the frequency uh, it is ndi and it is coming 50 hertz ac so we'll, we are getting 50 hertz ac uh, in india only so by pressing this button you can measure the frequency uh, simultaneously uh, uh, with the help of the switch and into voltage ac so uh, now we'll be testing the voltage dc part also so no so now we'll be testing dc voltages i'm having two batteries with me uh, this is a 9 volt battery and this is a 1.5 volts battery we'll be testing and uh, testing it and i will uh, provide you the result of it see let's see uh, it is showing 8.34 volts it's an old battery uh, 9 volt battery uh, so the results are fine uh, and uh, i want to show you one thing again that uh, uh, if we uh, goes the wrong uh, we do the wrong connection then you can see that it is uh, the result that is showing is the negative part means uh, the negative result shows that we have put the connection wrongly we have to shift the connection like this again and when we see like that uh, it will be on the positive part so if you are getting in dc voltages if you are getting negative results means you have put the wrong connection uh, so it has shown you the result as 8.34 it has automatically the range is shifted to and the decimal is shifted over here and the results uh, it is it has automatically detected it its sampling rate is uh, around in between 1 to 2 seconds which is pretty good as compared to uh, this uh, multimeter and let me uh, let us check uh, the dc voltages of uh, this battery so now you can see the decimals also all, uh, already shifted onto the first place and it is showing the result as 1.566 so it is an auto range multimeter the uh, it has already uh, gone to that range and selected that range uh, so the you can get a good accuracy and the least count is good so now we'll be testing some of the resistance what i am having and i will give you a, a brief uh, review on that also now i will be testing the resistances of uh, i am having some resistances i want to uh, confirm you that uh, there are three buttons above also that one is a range one is rel and one is hold uh, for range, yes, you can see it, uh, and uh, that if we press, uh, uh, you can see that it's an mega ohm right now. It's an auto range that it will be, it will be going to that range and giving you the desired result. But if you are uh, um, checking lots of resistances in the PCBs, uh, then uh, you don't want that uh, it should again be going into. Uh, the auto range and you will be getting the result faster you can press this button now you can see that the auto is gone and again you will be pressing the it is showing in ohm then it is showing again in kilo ohm the decimal is over here then now the decimal will be shifted it's in over here and then again the decimal is shifted and it's kilo ohm then you will be shifting then see it's mega ohm so if you are having uh, so much of resistances of the same around same values then you can go into that range part and the uh, sampling rates also decreases again it goes uh, low than uh, less than one second which is pretty fast as compared to uh, the multimeters which are also available in uh, the market so we'll be going i'll be going into the auto range part and let us see uh, I'm having some sort of a resistances with me. Let's see what are the results it's showing. Uh, so here uh, it's uh, I'm having this 100 ohm resistance. Let's see what uh, result it is showing. It is showing pretty good. It is showing 100.0. The results are fine. I'm having other two ranges, uh, two resistances also. So let's see what the results is it's showing. One kilo ohm. Yes, the results are good and pretty fast. It is testing uh, these values. It's in kilo ohm. It's a 10 kilo ohm. So it is uh, 
the results are fast and uh, the sampling rate is good uh, and if you want to measure now uh, the diode part you can go over there and uh, uh, you can uh, measure a different sort of a diodes you are having it's a there's one uh, continuity range also that if you want to measure the continuity yes the uh, you can see uh, you can hear the buzzer sound is pretty much good and you can hear uh, is quite audible and uh, now we'll be testing uh, uh, the current section and i will be uh, discussing you uh, with uh, uh, the current part and what sort of a protection you should be taking while uh, testing the current section i'll be showing you how to measure the current uh, uh, with the help of this multimeter i'm having these batteries and we'll be testing the uh, current part of it uh, there are three ranges over here if you want to measure in micro ampere a milliampere than ampere you can select if you want to uh, select you want to measure ac current then you can select with the uh, help of this button you can see that it's true rms and ac is showing but i'm having these batteries which are dc so i'll be going in uh, the dc part only and uh, uh, you should be knowing that the pro which should uh, which i have kept is one is the common part and one is the milliampere part so this battery is old it, it should be having the results in milliampere not in ampere let us see what results it is showing yes it is showing around 13 milliampere uh, the results are pretty perfect uh, the results are good and it is uh, the sampling rate is also good so if if the current is more if you are using this thing and if the current is uh, more uh, is an is an ampere then you must be knowing that uh, I have already opened this instrument and seen that the design and the PCB and the circuit is pretty much good and it has a protection also and uh, they have provided fuse also uh, let's say if you are testing in milliampere and uh, the results of your sample is in ampere there is a fuse provided into it and it will be burnt off for the protection part and you can uh, later you can uh, change that fuse which is easily available in the market uh, but it it is better yet that you should be uh, going into 10 ampere range and then you will be testing all the parameters of your this is the protection part the range part is good and uh, you should be always be uh, noting that uh, the connection uh, which we are doing uh, should be already be confirmed before testing otherwise you will be damaging the protection of this multimeter and you can also burn these multimeters uh, then uh, so it's better that you should be uh, connected at the right points so now i'll be testing uh, going into the current section part the ampere part and uh, i'll be testing that this is a fresh battery of mine let's see what sort of a result they are showing uh, it is showing around 2.4 ampere so it's a fresh battery and showing the results good and already you can see that it's showing 2.434 so the result and the accuracy is uh, good this is a 4000 counts multimeter if it, if it had been a three and a half digit it should be going uh, the result should be 2.3 Four, the three four zero or three four three. It is showing three four three means the accuracy is good and it's a four thousand counts multimeter. So results is pretty good. The uh, the look look of this instrument is pretty good, and uh, you can use this multimeter and you can take these multimeters to just various sites uh, as uh, they have provided this. Uh, uh, rubber hostler which is also a good quality and it will save your multimeter if by if uh, it uh, does get uh, out of your hand it should fell down from your hand then uh, it can save your multimeter so that's it for today and also i want to confirm that there is a um, temperature range also the temperature range is uh, uh, 1000 degrees celsius and if you want to measure uh, any temperature uh, of any uh, at the PCB at some component or something then uh, they have provided the um, temperature probe with a multimeter 
and then you can uh, measure the temperature of that thing and uh, there is one attachment also given by them uh, see it's an attachment uh, what they have given I just slightly focus it onto it um, see it is it can be used for capacitors measurement and uh, uh, the transistor measurement NPN and PNP uh, by this you can you have to put it over here uh, for temp uh, for capacitance measurements see uh, see it has already they have already told you that for for capacitance measurement you have to put it over here and here but for HFE for transistor testing you have to put it over here and here then you can use this part and uh, see it will go like this uh, then you can test it and uh, uh, for capacitor and you can uh, check the value of uh, the unknown capacitors you are having so uh, that's it for today uh, I had given you a brief uh, overview of this instrument this instrument what I have tested is pretty good and it's of good quality uh, I also recommend that you can uh, go ahead with this instrument uh, so that's it for today if you like my video uh, do put a like uh, on onto it and if you have any question you can write it down to the comment section part i will be giving all the answers to it so thank you bye